Danny Dawson, and I'm about to give a demo of a color study, which I learned from Henry Henchy, who was an old friend and uh, a teacher of mine. In this technique, you're, you're, it's not dependent on drawing at all. It's really dependent on looking at the skin and how the light flows over the head. So you pick a middle tone. So we have hot lights, we'll use an orange. Forehead, nose, so now the next step in this is you go through and you start picking out the other colors and you pick another color for the underpainting of the shadows. We're basically seeing a blue, so we're going to So now our problem is we have to go from here, add more colors into these colors until we come out with skin that looks somewhat like him. It, it's not, don't worry, and this, this is more about getting the skin tone than it is about getting a likeness. Like we wouldn't go in now and start drawing eyes or nose or anything else. You want to basically go in and see if you can get this skin tone and drag it into here so that you can get this transition from here to here. Now I'm putting a cool red as a transition color, and then I'll go back over it with a hotter red. Okay, now go back into the darks. Now I have some blue, so I'll pick up some of the blue here. Move it back into here like this. Then you can see that this is warmer up in here. Okay, I'm gonna soften this edge. Okay, this is in here like this, nostril in here. But notice I'm not trying to draw the eye or anything. I'm just going from one plane to the next plane. Look at how clean all the colors are. In other words, I'm not mixing on the canvas, so you're not getting something that looks like a brown like that. <coughs> so what, what you're doing is you're keeping the colors very clean, and you try to use every color on your palette as you go. Now, this is frontal plane. 
here, frontal pointed head, so we want to turn it like this, into here, it's like matic bone. Okay, then we go around to the mouth muscle in here, and it's turning around here like this, to there. And we have this coming around like that. Now, the next thing we have to do is to get from here to here. So we want to use a cold red again, which is permanent release. And go back into here like this, pull this down into here. You overstate all the colors as you go. We have a cool red and we have a cold underneath it. So we're going to try to pull these two together like this, just using a, um, a brush with no paint in it. Come back into here like this. Okay, now the next color that you see in here is a green. So we'll go in with a little a bit of cavity green pale. So here we go. We just take this, come down into this green like this. Soften that transition, come back into here, like this.